This is Bill with Tandem Cross, making good guns great. So our victory trigger for the Smith & Wesson 22 Victory has a reputation for being difficult to install. And the part of it that people have the most trouble with is that little spring and detent that goes in the top. It can be hard to get in, it can be really easy to just send it flying and you never see it again. But it doesn't have to be this way. I'm going to show you a trick that will help you get it in quickly and reliably every time. To start, put the spring and then the detent into the hole on top of the trigger. Then you can gently fold the trigger bar down and let it rest against them. Now grab your 3 seconds Allen wrench that you take your grips off with and push straight down on top of the detent. With your other hand, apply pressure to the trigger bar so that it catches the detent once it gets underneath. Keep holding the trigger bar down and then you can pull the sear forward so that it catches the trigger bar. And then you're done. Hopefully that helps and you never lose your springer detent again. Now, while you've got your gun apart, maybe try some of our other products for the Victory, like the Hive Grip. They have a proprietary vibration dampening material and aggressive texturing for better grip and better control. If anyone has their own methods for getting the spring and detent in, be sure to let us know in the comments. And don't forget to click that subscribe button and the little bell icon next to it to be sure that you'll get notifications when we upload new content. And also, don't forget to follow us on all of our other social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And you can find all these products that I talked about and many more at www.tandemcross.com. Till next time.